If you want to know exactly how to make your player in NBA 2K20, every single screen, every single detail of how your player will be made in the new My Player Builder, this is the video for you. Uh, I'm feeling your energy, and shorty man, she really into me. I got lots of enemies, and they wanna act like they friends with me. I came up from bumming. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Power D back with another video. Now, in this video, we're going to break down exactly how the NBA 2K20 My Player Builder is going to work in detail because we found some huge lead info. There was somebody secretly recording like the My Player Builder and kind of the whole process you go through for 2K20 that we're going to see in the demo later on how you make your player. And someone basically, we can't show the videos or anything like that, but somebody basically transcribed exactly what it's going to be like in 2K20. So I'm going to go over it. All the details we're gonna see what is all goes into make your player and you guys give me your thoughts okay so the first screen when you load up to make your player it says here is on the first screen it's your position so you choose your position you can choose point guard shooting guard small forward power forward center and it actually says here two new choices like I don't know if they're talking about something else but is there some different positions that we don't know about so I'm not sure that's kind of sketchy right there but after that part, it says you choose like your kind of like your archetype. It's your first step of your archetype or the, what they call it like attribute classes. So you're going to get four choices. You're going to get finishing, shooting, playmaking, or defense. And defense and rebound is like together. So blue is for finishing, green is for shooting, yellow is for playmaking, and red is for defense. And these choices will decide how much you can upgrade like in a certain area. So what it said is basically... If you choose one of the breakdowns, it said that you would be limited to a max of a 51 and three point shooting just based on what did you um, chose as your attribute class. So that's going to be like, it's not, it's not too much info on that, but that's like super important on what you kind of choose as your first initial attribute class or archetype. And here's some more info that kind of breaks down like how the attribute class is going to work from um, NBA 2K Lab. It's basically finishing. If you um, attributes upgraded from finishing, we'll put up your close shot, your driving layup, your standing dunk, your post hook, and your driving dunk. And attributes from shooting is going to pretty much increase like your mid-range shot, your three-point shot, your free throw, your post fade. Your playmaking is going to put up your pass accuracy, your ball handling, your post control. And then defense slash rebounding is going to put up your interior defense, perimeter defense attributes, your lateral quickness, your steal, your blocks, your offensive rebound, defensive rebound, stuff like that. So that's how it's going to break down. But that's not like the whole... Um, thing you pick so next thing after that there's going to be a physical profile that you choose and this is going to have like different choices um this is kind of like your body type and these determine it's like you can do i think it's like they were like strong even and fast they weren't sure exactly what they were called but these will determine your characters like speed acceleration your vertical and strength and there's more stats effect that based on just kind of like what kind of physical profile or body tap you choose so we're gonna get more info on that when we get the game but there's gonna be like a new physical profile that kind of affects like what your i'm guessing like if you have like a strong physical profile your strength is gonna be higher but you'll be slower but if you have a fast one you'll be like very speedy but you have lower strength so that's gonna be interesting to see how that affects it that's kind of new to the game the second screen after you get past that first screen is gonna be your attribute and badge information so this is when we get into really good details right here. It says basically based on your choices from the previous screen, your player has a cap. Cap being the maximum the stack can reach for for your player, not the starting value for each attribute. Within the four attribute classes, th there are all the stats you would expect to see and you can increase them individually. The game then gives you 439, that's a lot, it sounds like 439 attribute potential points. And you can spend these points to increase the cap up to a certain amount based on your previous choices. So basically, I'm guessing you can only like, let's say I specialize in like shooting. I can probably put like 200 in shooting, but if I specialize in like finishing, I can probably only get it up to like 50 in shooting. So, it, it, but they said they're gonna, they specify that it's gonna call this a cap limit because after using all your points, you will have the final attribute caps for your player. And now this is the part where it gets into like the badges because the badges are gonna be new. Now, based on the number of points you spent in each attribute class, you get badge upgrade points for that specific badge type. So, for example, if you increase your three-point shooting attribute, you will get a badge upgrade point for the shooting badge type. 
Each badge upgrade points allow you to equip one level of a badge with higher tier badges costing you more points. So it's going to be like two for a silver badge. You're going to need to, I know this is confusing guys, but it's going to be two badge upgrade points for a silver badge, three badge upgrade points for a gold badge, four badge upgrade points for a hall of fame badge, and one for a bronze, um, etc. But it doesn't seem like there's a limit on like the total number of badges you can have. It's more like the points. So you can probably say, I'm going to get like three Hall of Fame badges, but you could just have no other gold or silver because you used up all your badge upgrade points. So that's really interesting. I was talking about that earlier. Okay, so example for some builds we saw was like the first build we saw had 27 finishing badge points. It had one shooting badge points, nine playmaking badge points, nine defense badge points for a total of 46 points. And then the second build had three finishing badge points, eight shooting badge points, six playmaking badge points, 20 defense for a total of 37. And the third build had five finishing, 14 shooting, six playmaking, 13 defense for a total of 38 points. So it appears that the badge upgrade points is equal for every single build, but you guys can see here. So for example, if I had 27 finishing badge points, what I could choose to do is I can get six um, kind of finishing badges at Hall of Fame if I wanted to. Or I could split it out and get more on gold or like a ton on silver. So you guys can see how you can be kind of selective on how you choose your badges. Now I think one of the big skill gaps on your badges are going to be like, okay, so did you choose to get all of the fame or did you just choose to spread it out and be more versatile? So that's going to be very, very interesting to see how people... So after that, it's like um, basically there's a third screen. And the third screen is basically kind of like your height your weight your wingspan everything is pretty similar to i guess like 19 in previous games and what they said is dropping your height by one inch might would increase your speed by like three points so basically pay attention to when you're changing your height your weight your wingspan all of that just how it affects your points and everything which you can check on the screen and also they gave some good info here's the info about how your height is going to work you're raising your height is going to lower your cap for driving layup driving dunk mid-range your three point your free throw your pass accuracy your bar handle your perimeter d your lateral quickness and your still and it's going to raise your cap which allows you to get higher attributes in your interior defense but yeah as um they added height always has benefits not related to attributes in 2k so for example if you're taller sometimes you can just get the rebound more because you're, you're taller so <laughs> don't pay attention to the stats too much that's why i feel like people pay way much attention too much attention to the stats and it says long wingspan decreases post control ball handling three point mid-range but increases still and yeah there's hidden benefits to longer wingspan like they can test them. like last year if you had a longer wingspan you would contest people like way more than somebody with a shorter wingspan so i wouldn't pay too much attention to those stats again and it also lets you select your takeover this is something big this year you can select so it seems like you'll have a choice between two or three different takeovers depending on which caps you increased sharpshooter has been renamed renamed this is big sharpshooter has been renamed the spot up shooter so there's no, I guess there's no sharpshooter takeover anymore, or maybe spot up shooter is a whole new takeover, and it gives a bonus to shooting from deep, especially catch and shoot. So that's gonna be interesting if sharpshooter takeover is like completely different. Now this is the fourth screen, all about badges. So um, this is the last part of it. So I'm just gonna read out, and it, it names a lot of new badges that we've never heard of. So I'm just gonna tell you guys go over it. Clamps, we already talked about that. Stay in front of ball handler. There's an off ball pest badge improves player ability to bump and harass the offense off ball there's a trapper badge and makes life difficult for offensive player when trapped that's interesting so i guess like double teams tireless defender badge it reduces stamina loss when exerting effort on defense that's going to be big clutch shooter badge boosts shot accuracy and closeouts okay there's a green machine badge increases bonus given for consecutive excellent releases so i guess if you green Several times in a row, you get like a bonus. Okay, that's that's nice. Ice in my veins badge increases free throw percentage in the critical time. There's a steady shooter badge reduces the penalty for contested shots and the bonus for open shots. There's a hot zone hunter badge that increases the shot percentage for shots taken in the player's favorite spot. There's a pro touch badge increases the bonus for having a good layup timing. Okay. <laughs> There's a slippery finish badge and we didn't get to see the description for that one apparently because they didn't show it. So there's a showtime badge. It boosts the team takeover after completing a highlight play. Okay. There's a contact finisher badges, which we already knew about, which reduces the penalty for contact dunks and layups in traffic. There's a back done pressure 
uh, back down Punisher, my fault, increases the chance for a player to back down their opponent. There's a stop and go badge, which increases the player's ability to start and stop with the ball. There's a tight handles badge, which increases the ability to break down the defender, which I guess so. I guess like, is that kind of like angle breaker or I don't know. <laughs> break down, I don't know what they mean by breakdown. There's a dream shape badge, which raises the chance that defender bites on a pump fake. Okay, the dream shake, I like that. So that's basically all the info we got leaked info. It's, it's very detailed. I try to go by as quick as possible, kind of explain what you might guys might see in the My Player Builder and all the details about it. And as we get more info, the demo actually drops on Wednesday. We're going to get big news probably early next week about my career too. So I'm excited about that. Tell me you guys what you think. Just buy this badge and upgrade system that I explained to you guys in this video. What kind of upgrades, what kind of player would you make? So leave that in the comment below. Drop a like if you're new. Subscribe. And I am out. Back. I can't be trusting because people be switching and starting. I had to go get me some money. They always was fronting. I had to stay up to sign. I never trust up at night. Seeing them trip on the bone. Make sure she won't come.